<laughs> there it is! Ikea! The big blue building. <laughs> We're home. Woohoo! <laughs> like cinnamon rolls and hot dogs. Yes! The smell of yes! <laughs> Hi, welcome to the house of Valentina. I'm Valentina and today's video is gonna be so much fun. I can barely stand it. I can hardly even just, I just wanna jump right into it. We wanna talk about one of our favorite places in the whole wide world and that is Ikea. You have to say it like that. <laughs> At least if you're with me, that's how you have to say it. No, seriously, like when my family and friends are with me, they have to say it like that. So. <laughs> We just love Ikea. It's a great place to be able to shop. It's a great place to get tons of inspiration. And we think it's a great place that if you're working on a budget to really make your, your dollars stretch. Now, Ikea has kind of a bad reputation in that most people assume that it's just low-end furniture, it's really cheap, it's not gonna last. And I, I do know for sure that there are some things that aren't as high-end at Ikea. There's certain things that I just won't buy. We'll have to save those for another video because for today, I wanna share with you um, just our little trip to Ikea and I'm showing you in the store how to shop for those luxury items. We talk a lot on this channel about travel, about how to create a luxurious style, a, a luxurious hotel style, that really high and expensive feel. For those of us who do not have a luxurious budget, sometimes we can use these little hacks and tips and tricks to make something that's very affordable look extremely high end. If that is something that you really like, make sure to give the video a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, we hope you go ahead and hit subscribe. All right, let's go to Ikea. We're gonna head to the Atlanta location, which happens to be dangerously close to our house. <laughs> let's go. Building. We're home. Woohoo! <laughs> like cinnamon rolls and hot dogs. Yes! The smell of yes. <laughs> Just so you know, that's going to be my expression from here all the way to the end. <laughs> First thing that I noticed as we went into Ikea was one of my favorite spaces that they had. It, it had this luxurious feel. And I realized that the pieces, they have futon in there, people. This is not high-end furniture, okay? But they, they have a futon in there, which I might have switched that piece out myself. But the overall feeling of the space was very luxurious. And that had to do with the colors that they had chosen. Gosh. Oh my gosh, this may turn into a longer trip than we thought. So I, this, this, this doesn't look so high end, but look at how they've done this. That's just made out of wood and then stayed. And I love that dark gray with it like that. That's so cool. This is like the coolest simple design. Oh my gosh, this is so great for a closet. Mm -hmm. This green is so pretty. Green is really pretty. These are cute. I like those. A lot of it is about environment and how you put it together. Parker would love this room, don't you think? Yeah. Yeah. This has a very much teenage boy kind of feel to it. It doesn't have like that chic, sophisticated look. So you can see how you can take a lot of the same items. They have the same shelving in here and it just doesn't feel as high end. One of the other things that I think is really great when you're at Ikea is to look for the tailored pieces. These are the pieces where the arms are more tailored looking. They don't have a sloppiness to them, if that makes any sense, because they do sell things that have that look. and. 
legitimately you could use any of these items for a luxurious look if you were to put them in the right environment but when you're trying to look for something that has a very high-end elevated feel typically those items would be tailored so i'm always on the hunt for those items that have a, a really high quality fabric and a really good tailored arm maybe it's a little bit more squared i'm also looking for the the shape of things all those things will really help you find something that looks very high-end even though obviously it's totally on a budget like this one has it doesn't have a very tailored look to it so i wouldn't buy this piece i'm looking for the tailored items that have a little bit higher end feeling to them so i think that this kvick is one of their best items and this is one that we were thinking about because it just it it feels tailored it feels really put together the seams are really nice and the fabric has a really high end feel to it and it's only 219. I still think that this is one of their best chairs. It's I modern, it's clean lined, and what people don't know is that this stuff is actually really well made. See how it's got that really nice clean line and mm -hmm. the fabric has like a really high end feel? Lighting at Ikea is one of its best kept secrets. They have so many beautiful pieces that you can purchase for such affordable prices. And I just love the way that they light the space. And this is something that you can do. If you ever notice when you go somewhere really high end, whether it's a hotel or a restaurant or a really high end home, typically what they've done is they've really lit the room and they've used multiple types of lighting. And what that does is it, it creates ambiance. These pendants Ooh. totally have a really high end. Oh my God, I love them. those. Aren't those gorgeous? And then they've done like a wood tone down here. All that kind of stuff just makes it look more high end. I really like these lights. So Danish. This looks like my art. <laughs> it does. How crazy is that? But they just painted it on the canvas. So it's just ideas like this. It really, really like help your idea. space. Even though it's on a budget, feel very elevated. About a really high-end hotel think about the rooms a lot of times and how they've got a lot of fabric a lot of beautiful curtain fabric there's just a, a, a voluminous amount of curtains in those rooms and so that's one of the key ways to add a luxurious feel to your space in ikea oh man their curtains are one of their best kept secrets because not only do they have a variety of colors they have them where they're lined which again just gives that really high-end feel but they also have really good linens and cottons i've been using their curtains for years ikea is the number one place that i go to for curtains because they're so affordable you can get the little clips for the tops if you want to make them look you know a little bit more elevated and feeling but i like the ones with the grommets i, I just think that there's so many different styles it just depends on your space they pretty much got them these are great see how these are lined oh my gosh. so that makes it have a higher end feel when it's lined like that i think ikea does a really good job with their cabinetry it's one of their best kept secrets honestly they have a few really good secrets i'm gonna keep saying that a lot in this video because they really do have a lot of secrets that i've used over the years to give my home a really high end feel and one of the things that they do is that they have really nice cabinetry. You can look at the cabinetry for the kitchen. You could use that in any space of your home. Look for the ones that really have that elevated feel to them. This reminds me of our first apartment. Because it is like walking into Copenhagen. Yeah, this is like our first apartment that we had in Copenhagen. I know, I just like it's took so my breath away. To this. The big windows. Yes. Yeah, and I mean, people don't realize that actually their cabinets are actually really, really nice. Yeah. And very. They're very really well made, and that's one of their, I think, one of their best kept secrets. Yeah, if you ever wanted to feel like what Copenhagen is like, come to this one little kitchen. Yeah. Doing a kitchen in a wood grain oh, like this God, also this feels wood. like a really high end finish. Um, just stuff like that. It gives you a, a more elevated feel. The Honey, I'm home. I love this. Oh, we should do that in ours. Can we get some of those before we leave? Oh, those are great. I want some of those. I know, we've been looking for those. Yeah. 
I can, I can actually imagine living here because this is exactly what our apartment was like. I know. And it makes me a little bit homesick. Makes me really sad. <laughs> I'm going to go cry with some cinnamon rolls. My tears will smell like cinnamon in a minute. So I think that this is a super inspiring space, but I don't necessarily think that it feels very high end, if that makes any sense. I think a lot of it's the the wood tone. As cute as this is, and as fun as this would be like at a lake or a cabin house, it's not exactly how I would do it. It just doesn't feel as expensive to if me. If the wood tones were different, yeah, I think. Yeah, because I, they've got some really nice finishes in here and like the shelves, but it just doesn't feel as high end. And that's wish it was a darker color about. wood. I think that would help. Yeah, if it was done in a darker wood. Like walnut? Yeah. My favorite? Yeah. I just like just some of the. I don't think that this sofa feels as high end. Um, this chair, even though it's in suede, like the buttons aren't as nice. It's just. This space doesn't feel as high end, so I just want to kind of show the contrast mm -hmm. of the spaces. Yeah. Next thing you want to do is to make sure when you are going through IKEA that you are willing to pass on basically everything. You have to be willing to say no to a lot. Something may not be the right color, something may not be the right finish, something may not look as high end as what you really want it to be, and you need to just save up longer and get it from somewhere else, but either way, when you get into Ikea, it is so hard to stay focused because it is so much fun to be there. It's so inspiring and you catch this vision for what you can create because you're in a home where it's all done and it's like, I'm just gonna take this room and recreate it. I think just being able to walk away is probably one of the best things that you can do. Leave it to me to pick out the most expensive one. <laughs> There's like a sniffer. I it's don't like... do this on purpose. See, Triple... but this one's not as soft. It may not have been sat on as many times either. People are afraid of it. It's kind of a funky color. It's a really strange... It's like it's not, mustard. It's not my favorite color. Yeah, yeah. What's my favorite one called? We have one of these. There are so many things. We're, this video is going to be nine years long because there's so many things that I love here. They have really great blankets at the store. So these are perfect for over an arm and it looks really expensive, but it's $12.99. What I love about Ikea is that just like us, they believe in that democracy of design that all people deserve a beautiful home. You know, it's it's viral. <laughs> that you can hack just about anything from Ikea. And while we were looking in the table section, I thought it was, you know, just a little bit funny that I'm ooing and aahing over one table that has a very high end look to it. And then we looked at the other table and chairs, which is one that we've actually owned and can attest that the quality was actually really good. It's actually made of real wood, or at least the one we had was. I have to double check if it actually is all real wood now. But it was a very nice table and chairs for an extremely low price. And you might wanna do that higher end finish, but you might also want to hack the less expensive option because it's made of real wood. That is so pretty. I love this table. Oh my gosh. This is like hands down one of my favorite pieces that they make. That just looks so high end. Ikea has quite a few little nuggets of things that are just hidden throughout the store that really have that high end feel on that budget. And I always look for the certain materials. I, I look for some of the smoky glass. I'm looking for their iron pieces. Like I said before, um, looking for their velvet, some of their linens. Because they buy in such bulk, they're able to get some of these things for a really low price. I love this, don't you? Mm -hmm. It's so pretty. It's so pretty. Not sure that I would put gold on mine personally, but it does give it a little bit more of a luxurious feel for yeah. sure. I miss having, I know this is the craziest thing ever. We have built in, we have like a walk in closet. Walk -in closet. Yeah. I miss these so bad. I know. I loved our pack loved systems. Adding a wall of this type of storage. Yeah. Yeah, it's really nice. And then again, they've just, you know, a lot of it comes down to the colors that they choose and the materials, even the rug. They just went for like a, a shaggy rug. 
and that nice glass and the nice shade like that and all those little things are what make this one feel a little bit more high end. Besides the, the cookies, which helps keep my husband with me and wanting to go to Ikea so I can use them <laughs> as a pack mule at the end to actually help carry everything. <laughs> I probably shouldn't be admitting that. <laughs> but um, one of the things that I love about Ikea that has saved me so much over the years is that I've used a lot of their framing. I typically don't use their artwork because I try to find something that's more unique if I have to DIY it or if I try to buy from Etsy or somewhere that's a little bit more unique than something that's maybe mass produced. I'm not 100% against it. It's just that I try to create that luxury feel and that would be if you could buy your own art, right? So. If you can't afford your own art, definitely look at some of their prints. But I think their framing is probably, yet again, one of their best kept secrets because you can take an inexpensive frame and put it in a nice little gallery setting and it looks more elevated. You can add the little picture lights above and have a nice big frame and it's very affordable, but it really does have that high-end feel. Oh, so elegant. Very masculine. Oh, look how they've done the artwork here. Isn't that so pretty? Love that. See, repeating patterns always make things feel more elevated, I think. And here they've done a nice big piece. And use like these dark woods and you don't have to go as dark on your walls, but it really does make it feel more elevated, I think. Well, I hope that you've enjoyed this even a tenth as much as we've enjoyed <laughs> pulling this together for you. I hope that it's inspired you. I'm, I'm so inspired right now. I'm like, let's just go back because I can't wait to go back and look for more things. For so long, I felt like if, if it's from Ikea, I just hear a lot of people making fun of Ikea and I'm like, oh, maybe we shouldn't shop at Ikea anymore. And then I'm like, oh my gosh, I just, love it and there's so many great things and I don't I don't ever want to shop at one place exclusively and I just think that it's fun to look everywhere for great things it's the the hunt the treasures that are out there that are waiting for us that keep me wanting to go and look for this stuff I, I just I just think it's fun and it should be fun to create your home and that you shouldn't feel limited by one place or another because of your budget. So I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. I hope it's inspired you to create that beautiful home that you're wanting, the home life that you're after, because after all, that, that's what this is all about, is that backdrop to your beautiful life story that you're creating. And if you go to Ikea and you have some items from there, I mean, oh my gosh, why not go and enjoy it? Thank you so much for joining us and going with us to Ikea today. And let us know in the comment section, um, Jack wanted to go back immediately and film like three other ones. He's like, we should talk about your favorite items, what they should be looking for. And I'm like, oh my gosh, there's so many things that we could do at Ikea. <laughs> So write down in the comment section if you want us to go to Ikea one more time and show you maybe our favorite little items throughout that we think are like their absolute best kept secrets. I've mentioned a few here, but there's still so many more that I think that you would really love. So we were shopping specifically for items that we're getting ready to do some pretty big, big room makeovers, not only in our own house, but in other homes as well. A new series is coming to this channel very soon. So don't forget to hit subscribe if you don't want to miss out on that because it's going to be amazing. I brought home several things and my husband is making me wait to pull them out of the boxes. And I'm so, <laughs> I'm struggling so bad <laughs> because I want to rip it all the boxes and show you guys everything, but we're so close to filming some really, really fun room makeovers. And I cannot wait to share all that with you. So thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for being here with us. And um, we will see you in the next one. <laughs> Bye. I do like their little, their little coffee cookies though. These are always super yummy. Uh, mouth blown glass, I don't even get mouth blown. <laughs> I was gonna say it. 
<laughs> yeah, it'd be really fun trying to hand blow <laughs> some glass. I don't know how that works, but um, anyways. 